Hey guys, we're here with J.R. Bourne. You probably know him from MTV series Team Wolf, but he's also got another series coming out on ABC. Uh, somewhere between. Somewhere between. That's the premiere, and that's happening when? July 24th. Interesting. What's the show about? 10 p.m. Monday nights. The show is about um, this woman who uh, is trying to fight fate to stop her daughter, her eight-year-old daughter, from um, dying. Interesting. So she goes on this journey of uh, trying to discover who is uh, who's going to kill her, why, and to stop it from happening. So it becomes this sort of fight between um, you know fate, because fate keeps fighting back. And I play her husband, Paula Patton. Interesting. Yeah. And you guys shot this in Vancouver, right? We did. How cool is that place? It's pretty great. It's beautiful. When it is sunny. When it is sunny. Rains a lot. Right. But when the sun is out, oh my God, Mike, it's like, it, it, it's a piece of heaven. It really is. Recommendations for places to explore, mm. hike, trek? Uh, getting up to the Scandinavian Spa up in Whistler, which is about uh, maybe an hour on the motorcycle, maybe a little less. And uh, Grouse Mountain, okay. which is just outside, you know, on the other side of Lionsgate Bridge there. And uh, it's a hike. It takes, I think, the fastest time somebody has done it is maybe 42 or 45 minutes. But it's a straight hike up the side of this mountain. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's pretty intense and amazing and grueling. How many times have you had a chance to do that? I've done it once. Are you going back? <laughs> if I go back, I, I should try it again, yes. And I did it just, I, I was like, about, I was around an hour. Okay, cool. But you, you're, I mean, you are a, a, a fit guy. So what is your kind of typical day-to-day -day look like? Is it in the gym? Is it outdoors? It is. It's, it's, it's the gym. Okay. Uh, when I'm, it, you know, if there isn't a particular role, then it, 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 it's like an antidepressant to me. Mm. If I don't have a specific role to train for, just getting into the gym um, is, it just, it, it heightens everything. Okay. Slava Gul uh, Gulabov. You what? have to, you got to look that? him. What is that? Yeah. You have to look him up. But I, I, I met up with him in Vancouver because I knew I wanted something in addition to just weight training. I wanted something right. for up here right. to kind of keep me on days off and, and with the rain and, and just with the work and everything. So I met him and he became this movement coach to me and introduced me to this variety of disciplines, acrobatics, yoga, martial arts. Did it just change every day? Like it would be one thing would be this, one thing would be that. I would walk in and, and, and it's, you know when you start to, you know when you start to work with somebody, because I know you have, and they start to sort of gauge, they know where you are that day. Uh-huh, yeah. I wouldn't have to say anything, I wouldn't have to do anything, I'd walk in and he would know exactly um, what I needed, what my body needed. It was... I don't think I've ever heard of anybody doing that kind, that style, that like, approach. It was, it, it was. And how long do you guys work together? We would for? do so with the full three and a half months that I was there. You should find this man. What's his name again? Slava Gulabov. Slava. And he gets mad at me that I don't say his last name correctly. Sorry, Slava. He knows how to say it really well. Yeah, I could imagine. Yeah, he's really good. So, at it. so what? Uh, what else does he? Where, where did he come from? He, exactly. That's what I kept asking him. I was like, where, where, where are you from? Russia. The acrobatics was the biggest surprise to me that, you know, he would say, we're going to do this. So he would he would get on his back and be the base and I'd be the flyer. And he would say, um, use your core here. Give me this leg. Give me this hand. And without really overthinking anything, I would be doing spins and flies and on my shoulder and up in the air and pikes. And it was just and then I'd come out and be like, what did I just do? I, you know, I can imagine that that's probably like the ultimate escape or release and probably great for something in, in your line of work, a Amazing. creative, like, yes. you know, you probably come out of there inspired and yeah. like, oh, I'm like, feel like, feel like, feel like a completely different that, person. Exactly, yeah, exactly, exactly. Cool, and shocked at what my body could do. How about uh, diet, food? Are you diet, okay? I tend to stay on the clean side. Okay, is that you know, low carb? Low carb. Um, uh, do you know ketogenics? This, this, keto, uh, yeah, keto, man. Yeah. yeah. I'm just starting to get into it. It's kind of amazing. It's very hard to start. Huh. I, I think it's hard to start. A lot of people say it's really hard to start because you're just kind of going through this stage of where you're adapting to really the number one source of energy, carbs, mm -hmm. and you're completely getting rid of that. So it's that like that carb hangover where you feel like crap. Yeah. You didn't experience that or? It I didn't, he, my, my, my trainer uh, in Los Angeles, Ryan Gavlik, he, because I wanted to trim down a little bit for Tom, for Tom Price, the, my, the rule and somewhere between. And, and, and not out of, um, it wasn't anything crazy, it was just I wanted to lean out for him, wear suits every day, you know, he cycled and, and I wanted him to be on this sort of lean, mean sort of side. So he 
introduced, I, I went straight into um, first thing in the morning, apple cider vinegar, turmeric, cayenne pepper, Himalayan sea salt, mm -hmm. um, apple si uh, lemon juice, okay. and then a wheat juice, and then the gym and all that sort of stuff, and then eating it. Um, uh, eggs, bacon, avocado afterwards, and then the rest of the day quite clean. And within a few weeks, you know, probably about five to eight pounds, I, I, I shed down quickly. Yeah, and you stayed, just keep the muscle. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, man. Cheers. Ha. Yeah.